fiery horse with speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver, the Lone Ranger. With his great horse, Silver, and his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the masked rider of the plains fought crime and criminals throughout the western United States. No man did more to bring law and order to the frontier, and high Silver came to be the battle cry of justice. Now return with us to those thrilling days when the West was young and adventure lay at the end of every trail. The Lone Ranger rides again! Come on, Silver! We're heading for Buffalo Point! Buffalo Point, the county seat of Buffalo County, was the center of a stirring election campaign. Pete Sampson, ex-rancher, was determined to win the office of sheriff from its present occupant, Charlie Wilson. As our first act opens, we see Pete in the cafe with a small group of his backers. Among them is the elderly and frank-spoken Gideon Wells, the local doctor. We hear him say, Pete, if you don't beat out Charlie Wilson, and show his boss, hey, Dolan, that we ain't letting him run this town anymore, things are going to be even worse than they were before. Well, I'm trying my best, Gideon. You ought to. Ace that took your spread away from him. But I don't know if you stand much chance, Pete. Yeah? I tell you, Pete, it's like this. Me and Gideon here and the rest of us are all for you. But Ace has got a whole bunkhouse full of gunmen. He's got folks in this county so blame scared they'll vote just about the way he tells them to. That's why I'm fighting him. If you was only sheriff... That's we... just it. If Pete was sheriff, there's enough on Ace and Charlie both to send him to jail for a long time. Uh-huh. But as long as Charlie's the law in Buffalo County... And takes his orders from Ace, so ain't nothing can be done. Ace just took over Willie Goodman's spread, too. Uh-huh, like he took over yours and half a dozen others. First, he runs off most of the cattle. Then he shows up with his hired gun hands and offers to buy for almost nothing. And when anyone tells Charlie there are cows that's being stole, he gets together a posse, rides around a little, then comes back and says the critters was took across the border, and there ain't nothing he can do about it. Knowing all the time that his ace is doing the rustling. That's got to be changed, Gideon. I ain't nothing but a sawbones. But by the eternal, it's enough to make me start packing a shooting iron for a little target practice on them skunks. It ain't to be put up with. Maybe this time folks will have the nerve to vote the way they want it. They don't like Ace tells them to. We're with you anyway, ain't we, fellas? Yes, we are, Doc. Then let's have a drink on it. Hey, Barkey. Yeah? I'm setting up the drinks for the house. And we're all going to drink to Pete here for our next sherry. Oh, you fellas are drinking to Pete, are you? It's Ace. Charlie's with him. And so's half his rotten gunman. I'm suggesting a different toast. I'm asking you to drink to Charlie here. Best sheriff this county ever had. Uh, he ain't drinking to no crook, Ace. Even if he does wear a badge. You call me a crook? I said it plain, didn't I? Why? Careful, Charlie. 
Your badge don't give you no right to pull your gun on a fella that don't carry arms. I'll teach that old fool. Go ahead and shoot, Sheriff. That'll be about your style. Take it easy, Charlie. Now look here, Ace. Maybe these fellows will drink to you like I ask them to. In that case, there wouldn't be no harm done. No. Well, what do you say, fellas? Ace, you and your crooked bugs can't bluff us all the time. (laughs) I ain't bluffing nobody, Pete. I'm just asking them real polite. Sure. Figuring they'd be scared to go again you. Drink up, boys. The Charlie Wilson. Well, I don't know. I'd, I'd rather not. Maybe you need a little convincing, huh? Give him a campaign argument, fellas. Yeah. Now, listen, don't shut up my place. Maybe this will earn you with some manners the next time my boss tells you to do something. Oh, you broke my beer. And here's another. Are you? You just missed my boot. <laughs> you dirty sidewinders. Oh, I ain't no way to talk at all, Pete. It ain't my fault if you can't put up as good a campaign talk. You've been running this county with guns ever since you come here, Ace. Sure. And I've done right well. All right, fellas. You change your minds any about drinking to Charlie? Uh, sure, I'll drink to him. Uh, I'd be right glad to. Uh, I uh, ought to for your gun, Pete, and I'll jail you for drawing again the law. Come on, Pete. There ain't no use trying to stand up to a crooked sheriff that takes his orders from a still bigger crook. We'll get our horses and ride out to your place. Might as well, I reckon, Doc. Maybe if you're savvy what's good for you. And keep right on riding and never come back. You ain't running me out of town, Ace. Well, right. stick around then if you've a mind, eh? But when election day comes next week, the only vote you'll be getting will be your own. <laughs> <laughs> Step up the bar, fellas. Another drink to Charlie here. And don't forget, them that aims to stay healthy had better vote right. <laughs> When Pete Sampson and the old doctor left the cafe, they mounted and rode toward Pete's small place just outside town. We hear them as they discuss the situation on the way. Doc, sometimes I figure I'm just a darn fool for trying to go again, Ace. Maybe you are, Pete. Sometimes a fellow's got to do what he knows to be right, even if he ain't going to profit by it. What happened just now has happened a dozen times before. Uh Uh-huh. The honest folks are for me, but when Ace and his gunslingers come around, they back water. It's hard to blame them. Of course it is. They know the sheriff ain't going to do nothing for them. Well, if you don't win out, Pete, I'm packing up and leaving town. Yeah? I don't want to, but I won't have much choice. Where you been thinking of going? Over to Harmony, most likely. Harmony? Well, there's plenty of business for Sawbones over there. They got a sanitarium and all. Folks come quite a distance to be doctored there. I'd sure hate to see you go. And if you do lose out, Pete, you'd better hightail it out of here, too. No telling what Ace will do to you for running against Charlie. He'd do plenty right now if it weren't for the way to look just before election. But maybe... Hey, look at the paint horse over there. Leaping lizards. Ain't he traveling, though? Ain't that fellow waving at us? By golly, seems like he is. We'll rein up and see what he wants. Oh, there. Oh, there. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, I'll be... He looks like an Indian. You way! What you want, Redskin? He's riding like he's got something on his mind, all right. Oh, okay, boss. Oh, okay, boss. You, you color name Pete? I'm Pete Sampson, if that's who you mean. Isn't that right. Uh, what you want with Pete, Redskin? You him friend? Friend? I ain't got no better. The doc and me have been friends for quite a spell. Then me talk. Yeah. You want beat sheriff? You mean in the election, Redskin? Not right. <laughs> That's what I aim to do, but right now things don't look so good. You know Ace Fuller got brother? Sure, Ace has got a brother. He ain't around these parts. I never heard Ace had any kin. Well, it ain't generally known. He don't use the name of Dolan, and he's got quite a reputation for being an outlaw. Uh. I've heard Ace thinks a heap of the kid. He'd like to have him stay in his outfit, but he can't get the kid to quit rambling. Well, if Ace has got a brother, don't surprise me none to hear he's a crook, too. But what's that got to do with us, Injun? White friend got plan. Huh? You come to Tonto. Me show you, white friend. You want us to go with you and meet this friend of yours? Uh, not right. But what's the idea? Him tell you how you beat Sheriff. 
Well, if this friend of yours savvies how I can win the election, it's more than I can do. Just what's your game? Oh, uh, it's not game. Tonto not trick you. What do you think, Doc? It's up to you, Pete. But I'd say we couldn't be no worse off doing what the Redskin asks. That's my notion. You come? Lead the way, Redskin. If your pod's got a scheme to beat them crooks, I aim to hear it. Mm, that good. And if this is just some slick scheme that Ace has put you up to, why, then we'll show them that we ain't to be scared. You follow Tonto. Get him up. Thank you. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Tonto, the faithful Indian companion of the Lone Ranger, led Pete and Gideon Wells to the hidden camp he shared with the masked man. There, with growing enthusiasm, they listened to the Lone Ranger's plan. Our next scene opens two days later in the cafe. Ace Dolan, Sheriff Charlie Wilson, and several of their friends are seated at a large table. Ace is speaking. <laughs> Boys, Charlie Hughes got the election just about as good as one. We got the folks in this county so blame buffaloed, they ain't even breathing less than we tell them they can. <laughs> There's just one thing, Ace. Yeah? We're all right as long as nothing happens to you. The folks in the county hate us like poison. But it's you they're scared of. Without you, we'd be skinned alive. <laughs> what do you figure is going to happen to me? I ain't saying anything will. But if it did... Charlie's right, Ace. Your brains and the wages you're paying for our guns is keeping us on top. But if somebody should plug you, they'd hang us so fast we wouldn't know what happened to us. Say, what's got into you fellas? Nothing, boss. We're just saying you ought to play it safe. What do you figure I'm hiring so many guns for? Well, I... It's to make sure nothing like you say happens. And if you're on your toes, it won't. We'll watch out for you, Ace. And forget this kind of talk. What we want to think about is how... there's the sawbones coming this way. What's that old fool looking for? More trouble? Not if he's savage. What's good for him? Ace, I, I'd like to have a word with you. Yeah? Well, speak up. Well, you better step over in the corner with me, Ace. I don't figure you'd want these fellows to hear. And why shouldn't we hear it? Why, that's up to Ace. But I reckon he'd just as soon you didn't. Uh -huh. It'll only take a second. Well, make it fast. But look here, Ace. Come on, Doc. You fellows stay here. All right, Ace. If it's something I think you ought to know, I'll tell you myself. Just as you say, but we'll keep an eye on the sawbones. Well, Doc, what in blazes is it? Uh, just a mite more this way, Ace. They can still hear us. Go ahead. Now don't forget they ain't so far off they can't drill you if you try any tricks. This'll do. Well? It's, uh, it's about your brother. What's that? I didn't mean to go again you the other day, Ace. I reckon I sort of spoke out of turn. So now I'd like to be the first one to warn you. To warn me? Your brother's over to Harmony. Ain't that the town where the sanitarium is? That's the one. Well, what if he is? He got shot up bad. So he went there to be doctored. And he don't know there's a U.S. Marshal on his way there to jail him. Is that straight? I wouldn't have no reason to send you there for nothing, would I? How soon will they arrest the kid? If you hurry, you can beat the Marshal. He just set out from Abilene. They can't jail my brother. I figured maybe you wouldn't want the others to know about this. You see, if the marshal should get there for you, the kid might talk enough to send the marshal over this way. Mm -hmm. And you wouldn't want your bunch to think there might be trouble. I don't have to tell them nothing. You're going? Right now. I'll take a couple of the boys with me in case you're up to some stunt. I ain't, Ace. I reckon you'd have better sense than that. But you'd sure pay for it when I get back. Uh, I know. Steve, yeah. two gun, come along with me. Where are you taking them, Ace? I got a little trip to make. Charlie, you and Rick run things till I get back here. What's it all about? What you... I'll tell you later. Come on, you fellas. You ought to leave right this, Ace. You'll do like I tell you. You'll have to ride like all get out, Ace. Just what I aim to do. And uh, you won't forget it was me that warned you, will you? I don't forget my friends any more than I forget my enemies. Good morning, fellas. I am wishing you all the luck you've got coming, Ace. Uh-huh. Get up there. Get up, get up there. Get up there. Oh, oh. The curtain falls on the first act of our thrilling Lone Ranger drama. 
Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Now to continue our story. After Gideon Wells had told Ace Dolan that his younger brother was in danger of being arrested and the crooked rancher had left town with two members of his gang, the elderly doctor re-entered the cafe. Hey, Doc. What Ace rush out of here in such a hurry for? I don't reckon I'd better say. He most likely wouldn't want me to. Doc! You calling me? Come over here. All right, Sheriff. Take a chair, Doc. Uh-huh. We need to ask you some questions. Yeah? What did you say to Ace just now? I, I'm i right sorry, but a doctor ain't supposed to tell his patient secrets. What's that you say? Patient? Reckon I'll be running along to my office. I got some work to do. You said right where you are. But I... You're going to explain that remark. But if Ace was to find out, you knew he ain't likely to live. Jumpin' gee, Hossevat. I said too much already. You ain't said half enough. But really, I... You're planning to live long? No, but what do you... If you are, talk. If you ain't, just go on dodging the questions we're asking. You'll be suffering from lead poisoning pronto. And we ain't bluffing, Doc. But... But if Ace should live to come back from the sanitarium over to Harmony, he'd kill me for talking. The sanitarium? He went to Harmony? It was just because I told him what the doctors over there wrote me. What did they write? I... I can't tell you. Take a look at that gun and make up your mind to spill it. I, uh... I'll talk. That's better. You see, Ace has been worried about some spells he's been having. Get on with it. He's come to me, secret-like. Because he didn't want you fellas to savvy there might be something wrong with him. Yeah? I... I looked him over. But I didn't want to say for sure what the matter was till I wrote to the doctors at the sanitarium, asking about them. And uh, what did they say? They... They said it was even worse than I figured it was. He might drop over dead almost any time. No. I wouldn't have no reason to lie to you, would I? Well, what's ailing, Ace? It's... It's his heart. Yeah? He's got, uh... Thermotopoulos of the uh, latter cardiac offering. Thermotopoulos? He, he's got all that? Well, he's got that for sure. But there's a couple of other things that might be wrong with him, too. Sure. If that dark ain't lying, do you savvy what that means? You're blamed right I do. Now, don't forget, I didn't want to tell you about this. If he says really going to harmony... If he has, somebody will be riding in that passed him on the way. It's a two-day ride over there. We'll, we'll wait to find out. And if it's so, we'd better start figuring what to do. And I'm telling you, we'd better figure fast. Gideon Wells' story was told and retold until it had reached the ears of every voter in the county. Each time it was repeated, Ace Dolan's condition grew worse. Hey, Bart! What's the excitement? You heard about Ace Dolan? Huh? Some fellas seen him riding over to the sanitarium at Harmony. What for? There's something mighty wrong with him. They tell he ain't likely to live. You don't say so. And if he don't, he won't be able to do nothing to us if we vote for Pete for sheriff. Well, I'll be doggone. <laughs> I got to tell the folks at home about it. Get up there. Come on. Ace is dying. Dying? Yes, the doctors over to Harmony don't give him a chance. You sure of that? There ain't no doubt at all. I'm voting Charlie Wilson out of office and Pete Sampson in. Oh, my golly, oh, my. so am I. Over the 
sanitarium. No good marriage. Wait till I tell the sheriff about that. That means this bunch will be busted up. And the election yeah. is just tomorrow. We can vote them crooks out. And we'll vote them out for good. Vote them out for good. Ace Dolan's men became panic-stricken as the rumor of his death reached Buffalo Point. In his office, Sheriff Charlie Wilson, openly worried, tried to reason out the course he should follow. I don't know what's going to happen with Ace gone. Blast it, what did I have to tie myself up with him for? I wish I'd never... Charlie! Oh, now what do you want? It just came from the cafe. They got word Ace is dead. Everybody's talking about it. Don't you figure I got here? You heard the same? I most likely heard it before you did. Well, what are you going to do? I don't know. You got to do something else. For guys sake, no. Ace is dead. If one more fella tells me that, I'll blow his fool head off. But I'm telling... But nothing. Of course he's dead. But what we got to think about is the election. We can't win it now. There ain't a chance. But if you fellas stick with me... Then why should we? It was Ace paid us our salaries. With him gone, we're drifting, and we're drifting right smart. You can't do this to me. You might win out again, Charlie. But it ain't worth betting our necks on it. You yellow coyote. We're just using our heads. Instead of losing them. But wait. We ain't waiting. The election's tomorrow. That just gives us a 24-hour start. And 24 hours ain't none too many. Blast them. Blast them all. The dirty skunks. They're all lighting out and leaving me to face the music. Leaving the sheriff to worry over his own affairs, Ace Dolan's henchmen hurried to the ranch house, packed their few belongings, mounted their horses, and started for the open country. They rode all through the night and stopped in the morning only long enough to refresh their tired horses. Then they started out again. They had ridden only a short way when... Hey, look up ahead. Huh? Ain't that Ace? It looks like him, sure enough. Well, I'll be... Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. That ain't Ace, it's his ghost. Gosh, don't say that. Hi there. Hi, fellas. Oh, oh there. Oh, oh. What are you fellas doing here? Boss, we heard you was dead. What's that? Sure we did. It's all over town. And that was it. Huh? And that's why they got me out of town. It was just to pull some trick like this. I went to Harmony to help my brother. He wasn't there at all. It was just a trick, I tell you. It must have been. Boss, what are you going to do? I'll do a plenty. Come on. I'll show them fellas at Ace Dolan ain't to be fooled with. Get up there. Get up. Get up. Get up. Excitement ran high during the casting of the ballots. The greater part of the voting was done in the county seat. And everyone knew that whichever candidate carried Buffalo Point would also carry the county. When the election was over, everyone crowded into the cafe to hear the final returns. I'm betting Pete won up. Most likely walked ten votes for Charlie in the whole county. Them gunslingers ace hired lit out last night and a blame good thing. They ought to have them votes counted for now. I'll bet the sheriff hated to have to stay in town till it was over. <laughs> and it's Charlie that's got to announce the results. Look outside. The sheriff's coming now. Yeah, and Pete with him. Pete. Charlie ain't looking so happy. Here they are. What's the vote? Who's sheriff? Hey, Pete, did you win? Come on, tell us what the count was. Keep quiet, will you? Votes are in and counted. Are you still Sheriff Charlie? I got 150 votes and and Pete got 463. Oh, hey, 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 quiet! Quiet, fellas! 
so I'm turning over my badge to Pete. And the first thing I'm doing as new sheriff is to put you in jail, Charlie. You can't do that. You've got it coming. You stuck up for that bunch of killers and thieves. You bullied everyone in town to try to get justice. It ain't so. You're lucky you're just getting jailed instead of hung. Jailing's too good for you. It ain't fair. You should What's going on here? Where's that blasted sawbones? He stole us. But he's dead. Who said I was dead? You went to the sanitarium. Is everybody loco? I ain't so loco that I ain't arresting you too, Ace. Arresting me? I'm the law here now. Mark. The election's over, Ace. I got beat out. You got beat out? What in blazes has been happening here? They, they just told you. Everybody figured you'd cashed in your chips. Well, I mean, who said that? It was the doc told us the night you left here. Why, that pretty... <laughs> you ain't in no position to do anything to him now. But, Ace, if there wasn't something wrong with you, why'd you leave here? Because that blasted old coot told me my brother was going to be jailed in harmony. It wasn't my idea. It was the masked fellow. The masked fellow? Yes. He figured if we could trick Ace into leaving town like he did... We could spread that story about him ailing back. Why? Shut up, Charlie. Then when folks got to believe in you was dead, Ace, they wasn't scared no more to vote again, Charlie. It ain't fair, I tell you. Why should just me and Ace get jailed while all the others get away? <laughs> they didn't. Uh, <laughs> the masked fellow and his engine part and me picked him up last night when they was running off. You weren't the sheriff then? No, but we figured if I lost out, we'd let him go. And if I didn't, we'd have him where we could jail him. You're not going to jail me. Look out for the gun. Look out for him. Last you two. Oh, my. A masked fellow shot you. That's the masked man we was talking about. There he goes. Make him wait. We want to thank him. Hold on, fellas. That hombre done a heap for us. But you ain't got no more chance of thanking him than you have about thinking him. And why not? Because he's the Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger. you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs>